Making a movie about religion is pretty much a guaranteed way to stir up some controversy. It's a sensitive subject because religion is something that people hold very close to them. So in this episode though, I decided to take a look at 10 movies that managed to cause a little bit more religious controversy than others. Welcome back guys to another episode. My name is Leroy Kenton and this is a channel where you learn about the different countries, cultures, and people from all around the world. And I got a pretty entertaining and informative list for you guys. We're looking at 10 movies and these ones got under a lot of people's skin when they were released, causing a whole lot of controversy and had people talking, people hated them, people loved them. So make sure you watch this video until the end and let me know if you've seen any of these movies and how you felt about any of them. So let's just get into it. Starting at number 10, we have the movie Dogma. Kevin Smith's 1999 comedy about two fallen angels who were ejected from paradise and find themselves banned in Wisconsin. That's the premise of the movie. Now, they're now headed for New Jersey where they find a loophole that can actually get them back into paradise, AKA heaven. But the only thing is that their plan will actually destroy humanity. Now, there's a group that comes together to try and stop them. And in this film, it stars Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Now, the movie was condemned by the Catholic League even before it even reached the theaters. After obtaining a script for the film, the religious religious organization called the entire thing blasphemous. Now this one at number nine goes way back, The Exorcist. It's an old one, a classic one. Now this film is about a woman who notices dangerous changes in the behavior and physical makeup of her daughter. Meanwhile, there's a young priest that begins to doubt his faith while dealing with his sick mother. Now this movie became a classic over time, given that the horror and demon possession scenes were just so graphic and it scared me. I remember watching this as a kid and I said, Lord, Jesus, I can't even finish watching this film. But anyways, the movie was criticized by Catholic and other Christian groups. And then later on, it found itself in the middle of creepy subliminal message controversy as well. And it was even reported that a lot of people that took part in making this film ended up passing away in mysterious ways. Frank? Who's Captain Hattie? The Passion of the Christ comes in at number eight. Now, Jesus Christ, the savior of humanity in this film is portrayed by his disciples and captured by the Romans. And even during this torturous time that led up to the death, Jesus redeems souls and defeats Satan's true purpose. Mel Gibson's very violent film back in 2004 really depict in great detail the crucifixion and suffering of Jesus. And now this was a blockbuster hit, but it received a whole lot of criticism. The main criticism of the film was that it was anti-Semitic. The Jews felt completely offended. And there was even an organization, the Anti-Defamation League. Yeah, that's actually a thing. They released a statement condemning the film's portrayal of Jewish people, saying it could fuel a new wave of anti-Semitism. And if any of you haven't seen this film, it was probably one of the hardest on this entire list to watch. It was that graphic. So if you haven't seen it already, just warning you ahead of time. Number seven brings us Noah. I remember seeing this movie in theaters back in the year 2014. Now this epic film was about God choosing Noah to undertake a mission of rescuing various animals and species from a whole disastrous flood. Now, with the help of the Watchers, Noah, along with his family, builds an ark to protect life on Earth. But you see, this film hit a lot of controversy early on. It just wasn't what you expected from a Noah film. The film was criticized and debated by Christians and banned from release in certain countries like Qatar, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, as well as in Indonesia. It kind of changed the whole biblical story of a worldwide flood. So anyone that was looking for a biblically accurate film Noah definitely wasn't it. It just went complete left field. They pretty much just borrowed the names of the characters in the Bible and made a film about it. So when people went to go watch the film, like I did, they got something completely different. I saw water, death by water. That's on your life. Moving on to number six, we have the film Submission. Now this is from 2004, Dutch filmmaker Theo Van Gogh and writer Ayan Hirsi Ali. They teamed up together for this film Submission and it was a radical short film about Islam and the abuse of Muslim women. Now the film quickly provoked a lot of outrage. 
Van Gogh was shot to death actually and stabbed by an extremist and Hirsi Ali had to go into hiding shortly afterwards. Yeah, that escalated real quick. And guys, we've only looked at five films so far. We got five more to look at. But before I get into that, if you're enjoying this episode, be sure to leave a like on this video. And also if this is your first time here to FTD Facts, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of our daily episodes. That means you can come back to this channel every single day to learn something new. We do our best to make these videos as informative and entertaining as possible. So now let's jump Whoa. into number four. Five, we have Monty Python's Life of Brian. So in the film, there's a young man named Brian who was born one stable down and on the same night as Jesus was born, and he becomes intrigued by a young rebel named Judith. So to try and impress her, Brian joins the independence movement against the Romans. However, in an attempt to hide from the Romans, he relays some of the teachings that he heard from Jesus, which ends up leading a crowd to believe that he, Brian, is the Messiah, while trying to get rid of his followers and reunite with Judith, he embarks on several different misadventures that you see throughout the film. And now this religious satire film was released in the year 1979. And of course, many believers deemed it blasphemous. And the film was protested by viewers and banned in many countries when it was released. Number four is the film Angiliyama. Now this was released in 2003 and it's a Thai fantasy drama and it revolves around a guru on a killing spree. However, the film also depicts Buddha. Now, eventually the director had to cut out a few of the more violent scenes from the film in order to get past government censorship. The film Water comes next at number three. Water is a drama about Hindu widows in India in the 1930s. And there's a lot of controversies that came its way from the moment they started filming. Now, the film set in India was protested and destroyed by a group who found it anti-Hindu. So the director Deepa Mehta had to just completely change where they made the film. Literally, they picked up everything and went to Sri Lanka to film the movie instead. <laughs> Number two brings us The Last Temptation of Christ. This film was made by Martin Scorsese and it starred Willem Dafoe as Jesus Christ as he deals with a series of temptations that he finds in the world. So naturally the film departs from the way Jesus is represented throughout the Bible and it outraged a whole lot of Christians. Now the backlash got so bad that a Parisian theater showing the film was set on fire leading to 13 injuries. The film showed what if Jesus lived out life, he had kids, he did literally everything that like you're not supposed to do as Jesus. Not to mention, it also showed him naked hanging on the cross. But at the end of the film, there is a twist though. I think they may have thrown this in at the end because it flashes back to Jesus on the cross. So it left people wondering like, oh, was that all just like in his mind? Or like, did that actually happen? Sorry to spoil the film if you plan to see it. But either way, when I saw it, that scene did feel like an afterthought. Like they just threw it in there to kind of like, calm the controversy they're like oh no, no, no we're not saying that that actually happened we're saying like it, it could have happened anyways the Ooh. final movie that i'm talking about in this episode is innocence of muslims this one was huge when it came to starting controversy back in 2012 the trailer for this anti-islam short film titled innocence of muslim just popped up on youtube and it went totally viral and of course it ignited a whole lot of backlash now the video featured cartoonish scenes depicting the prophet Muhammad. They portrayed him as an idiot, a womanizer, and a homosexual, and also a child molester, and someone that was greedy and a bloodthirsty thug. So, you know, this provoked a whole lot of criticism all around the world, especially from Muslims, but not even just Muslims were protesting this, other people from different religions as well. The producer Nakula Basili was forced to go into hiding after numerous threats, including one threat from a Pakistani minister who offered a $100,000 bounty for his death. Now this guy, he had to change his name several times over the last few years just to stay alive. Okay, so that was a look at 10 films that caused a whole lot of religion 
religious controversy. Let me know which of these have you seen down below. Of course, I've seen a few of them, haven't seen all of them. And I could sort of see why like they cause controversy like this. And again, at the same time, I am a person that does respect, you know, freedom of art. So let me know also how you feel about that. Should people be free to just portray whatever they want, even though it may not go in line with somebody's particular religious belief? Or do you believe that, hey, if you were going to go and make something about religion, just keep things the way they are. Don't try to stir up anything or provoke any conversation or questions around it. I'm fascinated to know your thoughts and opinions about this down below. And before you head out, a reminder that my social media links are below in the video description section. I'll also have a recommended episode that's going to be at the end screen. So definitely check it out if you found this one entertaining and informative. And until the next episode, guys, stay awesome, stay educated, do what you can to just keep as productive as possible in self-isolation and at the same time, take precautions. And that's it for me, guys. Later.